Our base for our chicken tractor like I said it's a it's a boat trailer so we got to take off all unnecessary mounts uh, we're gonna wait to to what's it called <laughs> not buff it not grind it clean the surface <laughs> and then we're, we're gonna paint it before we actually put the 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 chicken structure on top but today we're gonna take <laughs> off these mounts take off this take off these fender covers uh, take out the wiring. Um, we might extend it sideways, so make the base the the footprint wider, so that when we get our other material, we can just go ahead and start assembling. So that's gonna be the the thing. Dilly dilly. I don't know what dilly dilly means, but dilly dilly. Is it an Australian thing? Dilly dilly. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we're about to do. All right, y'all. So we're gonna start disassembling this little. Well, trailer boy. I'm gonna hold your wrench. Yes, please hold my wrench. Five eight. Huh? Oh, okay. I was like, bottom or top? Bottom. Say, Jay. Tristan, I was about to say, don't fit.
can see, this will be our base for our mobile chicken coop. We'll end up cleaning up all the rust, painting it, extending the base a little bit, and then building our coop on top of this so we can pull it behind our our uh, side by side. So we're about to put this back outside until we can work on it later this week. And then we're gonna go out and clear some more brush. Hello everyone, got done with what we could do today on our future chicken, mobile chicken coop. So I hopped on the tractor and Tristan and I are gonna do a little bit more clearing today. We got about an hour, hour and a half of more work that I can do today before I have to start watching my daughter. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, just see uh, how much we can actually get done before we have to stop working. Uh, but my wife will be back home tonight. So tomorrow we'll probably get out, do a little bit of work, or I'll go out and do a little work. And then uh, probably shoot a little bit of uh, the wedding. So that should be pretty cool. So yeah, about to hop to it. So like everyone saw, uh, we started making our mobile chicken, chicken coop, which is gonna be amazing. Uh, but we only got to where we got to today because we didn't have our materials to continue building what we were going to do. Uh, so afterwards I hopped on the tractor and uh, started pushing brush and bush hogging. Um, by the end of this video you kind of get an idea of what it'll look like when it's finished and it is totally worth it. All the hard work that we're putting in is just it's making it look so great. I can't wait to do a complete walkthrough after it being burnt and then having hay put down on it and have some animals on this part of the, the property. Uh, it's just going to be super exciting. Um, and having our animals out here in general is going to be super exciting. <laughs> I, I can't wait to share it with y'all. Um, but yeah, right now with the front of my bucket, I'm battling these relentless... Uh, vines. These vines are, once they're managed, it'll, it won't be that big of an issue, but right now they're a pain in the butt. They just bind up everything. So that's what I was doing, and now I'm just pushing this brush. Um, I ended up making a pile. Uh, I made a pile in our last video that I showed us doing clearing, and I'm just working this, this little bit of brush to that pile. Um, I just used the front of the front edge of my bucket and I start mowing down some of the brush and follow it up with uh, the bush hog uh, just making sure that I'm going over uh, stumps and roots just not to, to damage the bush hog so yeah just pushing that brush to that pile by the pond look at that guys you can see in the background our other field that is so crazy because last week all of this was just overgrown and you could not see to the other side at all. So when this is cleared, you'll have a clear view from uh, our front field all the way to our pond into our, our side field where um, on the far end, our actual two acre garden is going to be. If y'all have seen that video, that's where that garden's actually located. It's across from where we're working. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be so awesome. You'll be able to see the plants and stuff from here. Uh, but this is the last section that I had time to do today. I started it. Um, this part actually goes down into a, a a hollow, so it's kind of angled. So I'm just backing the bush hog into it slowly, carefully, making sure. Um, and then a few a few seconds, you actually see me start uh, changing the grade of it so I could actually get the tractor in frontwards but all that right there is is vines I actually end up pushing a, a dead tree over and uh, making another brush pile inside of there so when we do our burn next week we can just focus on those areas and then burn burn out from our brush piles and it would be focused but yeah I'm using my front end of my my bucket I'm just uh, driving it into the, the the dirt, the soil, and I'm just pushing. I'm just pushing, 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 trying to get more even so I can actually get down into it. Um, the dirt over there, since the canopy was so thick, was, it, it's super soft. Uh, it holds a, a lot of moisture, uh, and it runs into our pond. Look how dark it is. All That dirt is just, it, it's so nice. <laughs> our soil here is so good. 
Um, but yeah, I just start bush hogging and to the right of the tractor right now is actually the start of the brush pile that I put in this particular section of woods that we're working on. Um, and then in the background you can actually see part of the field that uh, you'll be able to see fully when this is all cleared. It's just super exciting. Every day we come out here and do a little bit of work on it, it just changes so drastic. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, we're going to walk through uh, some of the stuff that I could get done today with Tristan. Uh, sorry about all these vines, you know. It's kind of a lot. But yeah, we did a pretty good amount of work. Uh, I have to go back to the house and start watching my daughter so my dad and my stepmother can go out for the evening because tomorrow's their wedding. So, um, But my wife should be back around 5, 6 o'clock, so that should be cool. Look at all that, guys. Started grading that little hill, trying to get into it. Um, but opened all this up. There's a, a lot of brush. I made a big old pile right here. Uh, since we're going to do our control burn sometime next week, we'll just burn them all at the same time. But look at all this stuff, y'all. Look how clear it is. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Try not to trip and fall on camera because that would be a little embarrassing. Um, but yeah, look at this. It is coming along. I'm in awe. It's so great. And then behind me over here, you can see where we started clearing. It's way, way over there. But you can see our pond now. You can see our other field right up there. Our other field. It's so great. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, for all you who are new subscribers, thank you all so much. Um, just want to build this. want to take you all along with us on our journey. Because this is going to be truly, truly awesome, beautiful, amazing. And uh, I think you all are going to enjoy it when it finally comes to fruition. So thank you all so much. See you all tomorrow. Enjoy. Enjoy.